Welcome to our Class B RV. This happens to be a 2018 Pleasure Way Ascent. We've owned it for about nine months. In that time, I've been refining the storage and organization of this rig. At less than 20 feet long, it's really every square inch is at a premium. So I've come up with a few things that I thought might be helpful to others who have similar vehicles, and I thought I'd share with you those today. Okay, the first thing is trash. What do you do with your trash? Well, I had a small trash bin that just kind of sat around loose, but it always seemed to move when you were driving. So I found this online and it's worked pretty well. This just hooks over the, hooks over the drawer and uh, holds a bag and it stays out of the way because it's only maybe three or four inches deep. So that has been a, a great change stove top I put paper towels on this holder that is held on with with heavy-duty velcro it's the only thing that will hold while you're driving and then this light is really for nighttime use when you have to get up in the middle of the night because this rig has way too many lights and who wants to be messing around with a control panel in the middle of the night Speaking of the control panel, it sometimes comes on at night all by itself and that light can uh, wake me up. So I came up with this uh, little cover for it. It's just a piece of fairly heavy felt and on the back of the felt I sewed some Velcro and then put the opposing Velcro pieces up here and here in the corner and then I can just stick it on and it keeps any light from get into the, the car. It's always nice when things in an RV can serve multiple purposes. Well, this vehicle comes with a Corian top and the filler piece that goes in over the sink was Corian as well, but it was really heavy and moving it every time you needed to get access to the sink was a real pain. So I found this cutting board at a store and had it cut down to the exact size and it's perfect. The bulkiest items to store are things like pillows and blankets and sleeping pads and things like that. And the best place to store them is up here in this top shelf. And if you're like we are and you like multiple pillows and you like a nice mattress cover and things like that, well, it's a pretty tight squeeze. And on a really long trip, you want to have as much storage for other things. So we now keep our mattress pad just draped over the back of the sofa. And that gives us a lot more space. Towels can take up a lot of space too. And if you like a bath sheet, well, then you're talking a lot of space. So instead of that, I opted to get a yard of microfiber fabric, which you can find online. And this is a really plush piece of microfiber. And it comes 60 inches wide. And when I got it, all I needed to do was overlock or serge the edge of the fabric. And it washes and dries really fast. It can also be used at the beach because it's large enough. These nets are available online. They come with only half of the Velcro pair though. So you have to get the industrial strength Velcro for the other side, the side that you stick to the laminate. But these are really useful. We store the some of the components for the television and this is the fan, the refrigerator fan that we use. It's nice to keep track of your telephone. So you can get these little suction cup containers that hold like soap or sponges, things like that, and just stick them to the window and they hold your phone very nicely. The microwave, of course, is got some empty space in it when it's not being used to microwave. I keep extra kitchen supplies and things in here, but I keep them in a bucket so that if I need the microwave, which is rare, I can just pull it out really quickly and put it back in again. The only one large cupboard in this vehicle, which is where I keep all the pots and pans, but there used to be a panel right here 
that I remove to make space for additional things that we need. I keep uh, the Instant Pot and other pots and pans and I use all of the space inside of those things for the storage of other things. Now some people may think this is a little tacky, but this vehicle comes with these really heavy duty, bulky window covers for the front windshield and the two side windows. They take up way too much space in the back. And in the summertime, we really needed extra protection from the sun and so Reflectix was the way to go. I had no place to store the Reflectix, but I discovered that a piece of Velcro will stick to the fabric headliner of this vehicle, and so I stick them up there. The bathroom has lots of options for storage. Of course, there's the back of the door, and on this one, I have one of those over-the-door hangers that I can hook over and store the uh, cleaning supplies, things like that. Option for a suction-mounted storage. This one, I think, came from Target. Uh, I tighten these screws down before we leave on a trip because they will loosen up over time. But this is nice for the, some of those large, bulkier items. Up here on a tension rod, I store extra paper towels, toilet paper, things like that. Brushes, makeup brushes, kind of lightweight things like that. Here's another suction cup container, you can see. But this little thing, I got it. Ulta and it's more of a static cling type of thing and that stays on really well. It's never fallen off. This vehicle has this kind of funky bar across here and it was tough finding a, a container that would fit there but I found some at Target in the kitchen section and these hold soaps and lotions and um, first aid supplies, things like that. My trash solution in here was just to hang a couple of hooks underneath the sink and sling over the top a plastic bag with handles. We seem to accumulate a lot of paper on our trips, maps and things like that. So I found this storage solution online. It has multiple pockets where you can store books and maps and pens and pencils and reading glasses and things like that and that's worked out really well. I also from the dollar store got some of these hooks so when I get in the vehicle I can sling my backpack or my purse or whatever bag I'm carrying and have it off the floor and out of the way. Okay the last thing I wanted to share with you is the back of the rig and this is where we have our chairs, two chairs, uh, kind of plumbing connections that we need, the electrical um, components for when you're at a hookup spot, and uh, walking sticks, shoes, bulky items like that, long items go in the back here, and there's really not much room for much of anything, not even a barbecue. The pockets I store some tools in a roll-up bag here, tablecloth, some of the more plumbing connections, uh, a quart of oil, that sort of thing. Okay, there you go. I hope that helps a little bit, and I'd love to hear what your ideas are or how you've solved some of your problems of storage in your RV. Thanks for watching. A bite of ice cream and then a bite of tomorrow. Uh oh, he go missed. Ahead. It's a video. Tell us how that combination tastes, John. Mm. Chocolate enchiladas. Mm -mm.